All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising, weekly general tarot reading, um, June 1st to June 7th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a private reading, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from where you can uh, purchase such. And as well, the beginner star class is starting again at 21st of June. And if you uh, like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, uh, you can sign up for it by purchasing it from the tarot classes section at my website. So that being set aside, moving to the Sagittarius tarot reading for the week. Now the first card that we do have, which is the very topic of your week, that is going to be the full card. Moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. That is going to be uh, the devil. Followed by the challenges that you will have to overcome here. That will be the seven of wands. And then the fourth card, it is the gift and the blessing that you get to uh, enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the world. Then what we do have, it is the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That is to be the Four of Cups. And the last one here, which stands for the guidance that Tower is offering. Uh, we do have the judgment. So it's a typical uh, week where life gets refreshed, if you will. Uh, or if you want to say it that way, in into one's environment. So what we do have uh, here in terms of uh, energies and topic itself... <clears throat> The energies of the devil, they are very potent, to say the least. So what that really means uh, through the energies of the devil is that you're going to have the means and the circumstances necessary to start following a goal of yours. You know, that could be a goal of establishing business. That could be a goal of catching the attention of somebody that you want to be with. Any kind of goal that you do have. And I'm saying any kind of goal because that is what is all about here with the full card stand, standing on the topic itself or the theme of the week. Now, you can see in many books that the full card is described as new beginning. And while it's halfway true, because the fool is just before the beginning actually takes place. The fool is where you shape that the idea of the beginning in your mind. And therefore, with those two cards throughout this week, June 1st to June 7th, Sagittarius, you have the opportunity to set a new goal of yours because you're going to have, once again, the circumstances right. The means are going to be at your disposal. And uh, it's highly advisable with those energies that you are going to have is to be true to yourself, to your own personal needs. What I mean is that the devil points that through those energies, having the resources and having the means. Uh, how can I describe it? Um, say that you are going to understand that whatever you are hungry for, that hunger can be sashi sa my God, satiated. Okay. And uh, the situation that follows after those energies are allowing your hunger to be satiated with further actions of yours taken, uh, you are to start adopting, you know, the perspective or the idea of a new goal, of a new future, if you will, with a new person that you want to be with for a, a business establishment, say, or for a new job and so on and so forth. But the whole point here, it is that you are going to have the circumstances just right to make a drastic, drastic change in your life. And that change comes, th oh my God, through a setting a new goal for yourself, which is the full, because the full comes in number zero. I'm explaining that into my classes as well, but I'm going to say it here. And number zero, it sits in between two, be uh, in between two infinities, in between the past and in between the future. Okay, so you are sitting in between the past and the future, and therefore you have to look for the future, not bringing anything from the past in there, and. Uh, into the future itself. So uh, just giving you as an, an example. So if that is a, about a business, you have to shake yourself of the failures of previous business, previous jobs, you know, or previous business endeavors that did not end up very well for you. Same thing about relationship. If it is, if it is that you are about to start a new relationship, you should not compare that relationship with an old relationship, right? So uh, moving next, we do have the challenges that you will have to overcome. And that is going to be the challenge of the seven of wands. So that is a tough challenge, to be honest. 
first of all, uh, this week, throughout the duration of the week, not every moment, I know every situation that you're going to have in there is going to be, uh, is going to predispose you for acting, you know, to start accomplishing the new goal of yours. So um, challenging wise, you have to identify the uh, the proven patterns that will allow you to progress. Oh my God, that is so difficult to describe. It's like there will be an, an exact moment, an exact uh, place where you have to act, where you have to place your bet. And that will be the challenge for you to, uh, to scope at, you know, to uh, scope at when exactly and where exactly you have to, for example, say some, to somebody that you love them, all right? Or um, challenge your competition or attack a new height in term of career as well. So there will be an, an exact timing for that. That is one of the challenge. And the other challenge, it is that because uh, the, the devil comes in a, such a pure form, in a sense of that you, you um, are going to have it in a, such an, an extreme value here, there uh, being said that you literally can accomplish anything you yearn for throughout the week. It's very easy to intoxicate yourself with that power, if you will, and so it's and so you may be tempted to do things that under normal circumstances you would find irrational, that you would find nefarious, say that you would find surreptitious. And um, as a challenge, it's very important here to be able to resist, you know, that temptation to do things that you are to regret moving forward into the future. Uh, the next card here that does describes the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. So that is the gift and the blessing of the world card. And it kind of like accommodates very, very well with the energies and with the situation itself. Pretty much the world here points that um, things that you have toiled upon because the world is about a toiling having a pretty long journey until you reach the very uh, the very end of uh, of the endeavor or of the enterprise so things that you have been toiled for a quite long time now they are to be finalized throughout the week and uh, pretty much you are to to reach their peak of experience so what that really gives you the regardless of that peak of experience is it a good experience or is it a bad experience the very least there you are going to know that you are liberated from the endeavor itself. So that means that you do have now a more free resources as a time, say, as a money, as, as a devotion and so on and so forth um, <clears throat> to invest into new goals. And that is exactly what you are going to have here, setting up a new goals. And it's very important to once again, uh, be true to yourself where your hungers lie. Uh, lies I'm sorry uh, what what you are hungry for are you hung hungry for power are you hungry for love are you hungry for for money if you will I, and whatever you are hungry for you're gonna have once again the circumstances and the means to start accomplishing in it throughout this uh, throughout this particular week so here the gift and the blessing for you Sagittarius is the freedom from the past you are no longer going to be attached to it Either that could be an old job, old relationship, a loan, for example, as well, and etc., etc. So moving next, we do have the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. Uh, that is going to be the impression of the Four of Cups. And pretty much the impression, is, the impression is, come on, dude, what are you waiting for? You know, I mean, the whole future is in front of you. I, why are you wasting time right now, you know, trying, trying to relive uh, yesterday and by trying to do so you are just only losing tomorrow so pretty much people are going to have an impression uh, that uh, you know you are wasting way too much time and that you are not uh, kind of like um, more like I don't want to say like a fool okay because imagine that situation where you do have a friend and that friend has a very good opportunity say to start a new relationship okay but they are still having a little bit of unfinished business with their old relationship and so they are hesitant to jump into the new one uh, because they maybe hope to get resuscitated with the old one and you know you as a friend are seeing how much potential that new relationship is going to have in your telling to your friend, oh my God, what are you waiting for? 
you know what why why are you wasting your time what are you, why are you trying to relive yesterday as this is going to make you lose a tomorrow and so uh, that is going to be the impression so you can expect a little bit more a pushy behavior from the people around that will try to tell you what to do you know and to point your fingers and so on and so forth but that is just so they can wake up your mental awareness you know and not um, let you dwell into a negative emotions in the sense of emotions of failure uh, emotions of denial and those kind of things that are only making us sit into one place and the last card that we do have for you, Sagittarius, that is going to be the guidance that Tarot is offering. So we do have Justice card, uh, Judgment, I'm sorry. And Judgment pretty, pretty much points that that is going to be a uh, one of the most important weeks, probably, that you're going to have throughout this uh, throughout this year. Uh, and that is in a, in a coalition or rather like in a symbiosis with the Devil and the, uh, and the Fool card that we do have into the reading itself. It does point that... Uh, Although you are going to have the freedom to decide what you're going to go from from now on, actually that is an illusionary freedom because ultimate, ultimately you are always going to uh, fixture yourself on one particular thing. And that particular thing is going to be exactly the thing you need because the judgment points that a a huge piece that was missing from the puzzle of your life is now is going to is going to snap in okay because the judgment is all about that finding the the, the 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 not the right but the true path for yourself it's like wobbling from one option to another option from one job to another job and finally you have the idea what you want to do and you got to start doing it because once again you're going to have the circumstances and the means necessary to do it so there is no reason for you not to do it so it just make sure you know that you are not um altering other people's fate by your actions so that being said sagittarius this was your weekly general tarot reading for may 1st to may 7th uh june 1st to june 7th i'm sorry 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again if you're interested in a private reading uh you can purchase such my website uh, which link you can find into the description down below and as well uh, the new tarot classes uh, the beginner's tarot classes I mean are starting at 21st of June um, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way um, you can sign up for them at uh, the tarot classes section of my website as well and um, as soon as you do so just you know within 24 hours I'm going to give you an email how we are to proceed from there um, so that being said, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.